I just wanted to make a video uh, showing the result of uh, Paul McCorder's uh, tutorial 3 homework that he puts at the end. So in the tutorial he says he wants to have, you know, the red, uh, the red, sorry, blink five times, then 10 for the green, and then 15 for the blue. So this is how it looks like in my final product. It is a little messy. You can see the resistors are a little bit, um, you know, <laughs> mangled a bit. But um, I wanted to give a special shout out to one of the comments here who came, kind of gave me the answer basically. And this is just kind of look what it looks like on the, yep, right here. So Sahana G, this is it right here. I'm just gonna give it a like right there. So essentially what I did is I, on my Arduino, I actually just hooked up all the wires to eight, seven, and six. So, you know, similar to how the video goes, you plug it in there uh, with the resistor, kind of with, oh, there you go, with the resistor connecting to another one, to the long end. And then on the short end, um, it is using another wire to connect all in one column. So on this, this blue wire right here, it is connected to the ground right there, as you can see. And then that goes into its own column, and then you kind of duplicate the the, the same sort the way you make the pro, uh, the circuits in the other one. So like over you know over on this yellow or sorry this uh, over on this blue wire we have another resistor. Um, I know it looks kind of like it's like going into that one, but it actually is going in there. Uh, and then that connects there, and then another you know like this is already similar. And then a yellow wire that goes all the way to the end right there, as well as this orange one connected so anyway that's how it works right there so you can see that it's similar but they all connect at the end to that so here's what the code looks like so, the, so what you do here is you just set pin mode eight seven and six to output and then in your loop function here what i did is i already have an, uh, a knowledge of programming so i kind of already knew that you could do this in your code but if you look right here you can create a loop to do things over and over again without having to do it so what i did here is I just did, um, you know, int i equals zero. And if you're new, you know, um, you'll probably learn about this, but it counts i as, or it counts zero as a number. So that's why I put equal to four. So, you know, write that and then equal to 10. This does it 10 times and then 15 times for the blue. Upload that to the Arduino. And one, two, three, four, five, one, to, yeah, yeah, you get the point. And that's how you do it, that homework. So thank you very much to Paul McCorder for creating the amazing tutorial series. I think this one was uh, really challenging. Honestly, if I never got that, that one comment, I don't know if I'd be able to do it, but you know, we all stand on the shoulders of giants. So thank you.